everybody, it's Laura with ThisIsFitWorkouts.com, back with a brand new workout, five new exercises. For this workout, all you need is one heavy dumbbell, a stability ball if you have one, and a mat. The first exercise, we're going to use our heavy weight and the ball. This is mostly just for a sort of guideline because you're going to row with your arm at the same time as you lift the opposite leg. So I'm going to row and lift my leg two times, exhale. And then I'm going to switch that and do the other side two times. So I'm keeping my stabilizing leg slightly bent. I'm keeping my core nice and tight. My back is pretty straight, so I don't want you hunched forward, and I don't want you looking too far ahead. So I want your neck in line with your spine, and you really focus on the core, and you hug that arm in nice and tight. If you want to modify that, just separate the two moves. So pull and row and then lift the leg. You can take out the leg lift, you can take out the row, you can do any kind of variation of that, but that would be a nice modification. Now exercise two is one of the big ones. We're gonna do a push up and then a knee tuck. We're gonna have our feet on the ball. Now, the closer the ball is to the feet, the harder it will be. The closer the ball is to my hips, the easier it will be. So if I'm here, it's much easier than if I'm way out here. So we're going to do one push-up, exhale up, and then you're going to tuck your knees into your chest. One push-up, it's kind of a tricep push-up there. One more time. And as I need to modify, I might roll myself back. So you can maybe start in the difficult position, and then as you get tired, roll back, because I've got much less weight on that push-up now, and then hug those knees in. Now some of you might not have a stability ball, or for some of you that might be too intense. Stay. So if we want to change that, we can do a push up on toes or knees, pop up, and pull one knee and one knee. Push up, pull, pull. Now when I pull that knee, I am doing a little bit of a crunch with the core there, get more ab work in that. Exercise three. I'm going to need the stability ball again. Favorite new move. Knees are slightly bent. This roll up, we're going to roll up, and this is going to be for fairly challenging. The ball is just for closing that kinetic chain, giving your energy somewhere to go, something to focus on. So you're going to roll all the way down, and then exhale through the hard part and roll that ball over toward your feet. So rolling the ball up and over the legs. And for some reason, this feels harder than if the legs are straight. So the more my knees are bent, the harder this exercise is. This is a real sit up right there. Can't talk. And if I want to make it easier, I can extend the legs long. And now I've got more weight on the other end to help pull me up. And if I want to modify it further, I don't roll all the way down to the floor. I go halfway, exhale, right back up. Inhale back, tucking my chin a little bit. They used to tell us to look up. We don't want to do that. It hurts the neck. So really, because you're curving the spine, so let that neck be a natural extension of that. And then roll up. So there's your variation. The next one is just legs. No equipment. You're going to start in a wide stance, toes pointed toward the corners of the room, and you're going to sink down into that squat. Four, three, two, one, and then you turn to one side. Rotate the feet. Four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Four, three, and then we're going to turn this way. Okay, so there's no break on the legs for that because you are staying down in those pulses. So the first variation would be to do Regular plie squats, turn, and do stationary lunges, turn. So you could do one in each position, four in each, each position, whatever works best for you. Um, that would be the best uh, recommendation, I think, is to just come down and up because you get a little break at the top. When you stay down in the pulsing, there's no break. Or you could pulse, come all the way up, turn, pulse. So wide range of options in there. Uh, the last one, we're going to walk out, 
and do two oblique uh, tuck jumps. Hands down, walk out to plank, get your core set nice and engaged there. You're going to jump your feet up to one side, jump it back, other side, jump back, and then walk your hands. Bring the arms all the way overhead after that because that resets your back and makes sure that you stand all the way up instead of stopping here and going right back down. So one more time, down, walk it out, get set in plank, shoulders over hands, jump to the side, soft landing, soft landing. When you jump back here, make sure that doesn't happen. You don't want to dip the hips because that puts pressure on the lower back. Walk the hands back. And up and over. Okay, so. Those are challenging. Let's take out that hop. Make it much easier. Walk your hands out. Pull the knee to the side. Knee to the side. Cross that knee under the body so that you get that twist. Arms overhead. Walk the hands out. Knee cross. Knee cross. And of course, you could elevate your hands on a chair, step your feet back, and then pull the knee across. Already out of breath. Click on the link underneath this video. It takes you to the real-time version of this workout where we do it straight through. And check in on the website for other ideas for modifying this workout if it feels too challenging. I will see you over at the real-time.